When I was 10 years old, I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, that's bone cancer. I underwent chemotherapy for two years. Um, I lost all my hair. I couldn't walk for quite some time. I was in a wheelchair. Doctors kind of were like, okay, we'll have to amputate. We won't be able to save the leg. And my mom fought for second opinions and we found this really amazing orthopedic surgeon. The first time I met him, he just looked at me and was like, you're gonna walk out of this office one day, like on your own two feet. So 10 months later, that's exactly what happened. And once my battle was over, things just started falling apart. We were evicted from our apartment. At the time, my mother and I were living in a shelter. It was very hard feeling feeling as if I didn't belong anywhere and I didn't have my own space. We've been in a shelter for about a month and a half now. Before I went to this shelter, I explained to my daughter, we're making a big move here. We have to work together and do this as a team. Being a single mom trying to do this on my own hasn't been easy for me. So I was in high school at the point when I transitioned into foster care. And I do believe that my battle with cancer contributed to some of the challenges that I saw moving forward with my mom. Children's Aid really was just supportive about that transition and making sure that my aunt and I and our family kind of had everything we needed so that my performance in school wasn't really impacted at all. When I first put her into public school, kindergarten, she wasn't doing well at all. She was, and it's kindergarten, and she was failing kindergarten. So Children Aid came out of nowhere, it was like a blessing. And from the moment she got in here, she was doing well. She, I didn't know that she was as good in math as she is, or reading. I like school. It's fun, we get to learn lots of stuff that I never knew before. The things that they teach her, she brings it home with her. They want the children to succeed, and they're trying to do whatever they can to make sure that every child is as successful as they can be. And that's the thing about Children's Aid, is that it's all about meeting you where you are any point in your life and saying, you know what, what are your goals? How can we make you successful? How can we support you? And I think that makes a huge difference in a person's life when they feel like they have that kind of control, that they don't feel isolated, that they don't feel like they're being a burden. It's not their fault that they're in this situation. So the Leonor Annenberg Scholarship is awarded to about five students in the country every year. I found out in the spring of my junior year that I was awarded as one of the five recipients. A lot of people were surprised that I even was going to college, let alone to an Ivy League institution. There's not much of a culture of expectation, of success, and that's because a lot of kids don't end up succeeding in the ways that they should because they have to deal with all of these crazy, insane challenges all on their own. So how did you get to Columbia University? Well, I was like you when I was little, and I did really well in school, and I got good grades, and I applied to Columbia, and I was, I was accepted. So it can happen to anybody. It can happen to any of us if we just work hard enough. Nativa wants to go to college, and she wants to be a nurse. Because I like helping people, because I help my mom, my cousin, my dad, and I want to make people feel better. I'm going to do what I have to do, and I need you to do what you have to do. She's going to make sure she stay focused on school, and I'm going to stay focused on getting us into our own apartment. I'm the only person in my family to have graduated high school and college, and I really feel like it's because of the fact that I was surrounded by so many people who looked at me and saw potential and, and, and nurtured it. There are so many young people in New York City who deal with really difficult day-to-day -day challenges and, and, and obstacles. Poverty, neglect, abuse. I never felt like I was gonna fail, and that's because Children's Aid has been such a huge part of my success. Now I feel like I'm in a place where I can face anything and I'll be fine.